Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. In this video, we are going to understand the forms of energy of system. So we will understand what is internal energy of the system, what is kinetic energy of the system, and what is potential energy of the system. So let's start with the video. Now guys, system possesses energy in three different forms. What is the meaning of this? Suppose if system has some amount of energy, then that energy will be present in any three of these forms. So which are these three forms? Let us see. The first one is internal energy of the system. The second one is kinetic energy of the system. And the third one is potential energy of the system. So for example, if system has 10 kilojoules of energy, okay, then out of those 10 kilojoules, let us say that 2 kilojoules will be present in the form of internal energy. 2 kilojoules is present in the form of kinetic energy and the remaining 6 kilojoules will be present in the form of potential energy. Not necessary that the energy will be distributed in all three forms. Not necessary. It can be present in only one form. It can be present in any two forms or it can even be present in all these three forms depending on the conditions which we will, which we will be studying ahead. Okay. So, if... Uh, the system if the energy of the system is distributed in these three forms then guys can i say that the total energy of the system is nothing but the internal energy of the system plus kinetic energy of the system plus potential energy of the system okay so if you want to find out the total energy of the system you just need to add all these three different forms of energy okay now Guys, here there are some other forms of energy like the electric energy, magnetic energy. But for an 11th and 12th standard, we are not going to consider that. But let me tell you that there are some other forms of energy as well. Okay. Now, moving on guys. But in thermodynamics, in thermodynamics, we do not calculate what is internal energy of the system. We do not calculate what is kinetic energy of the system. And we also do not calculate what is potential energy of the system so what do we do in thermodynamics in thermodynamics we only deal with change in internal energy of the system change in kinetic energy of the system and change in potential energy of the system okay so in other words if i tell you in simple words in thermodynamics we are not going to calculate the absolute amount absolute amount of energy but in thermodynamics we only deal with change in energy we are only going to calculate how much amount of energy has been changed we are not concerned with the absolute amount of energy clear with this so if you uh, know what is the change in internal energy what is change in kinetic energy what is change in potential energy then you can obviously find out the change in total energy of the system which we will be studying ahead okay just giving you all some hint what what is coming ahead okay now guys let us understand all these three different forms of energy one by one so first of all let us understand what is internal energy of the system okay now in simple words internal energy is nothing but the sum of all the microscopic forms of energy which means that if you add all the microscopic forms of energy present in the system then you will get internal energy of the system now what are those microscopic forms of energy let us understand what are microscopic forms and when you add all these microscopic forms of energy you will obviously get internal energy so for understanding microscopic forms of energy let us consider container and in this container let us consider a gas now guys this complete gas which is present inside the container is our system. We assume that this gas which is present inside the container, the complete gas to be our system. Now if I want to study about the microscopic forms of energy, then obviously I need to study about the molecule. So let us consider a molecule who we are going to study. Now guys, this complete, this complete whole thing is this complete gas is our system and this molecule is nothing but the microscopic part of the system this molecule is not the system but it is the microscopic part of this complete system okay so let us consider this molecule and let us study about it 
now guys we all know that molecules of the gas move rapidly in the container okay they move ran randomly and with very high velocity inside the container and if they are able to move with very high velocity then obviously they have kinetic energy am i right so this energy which the molecules have is known as translational kinetic energy the energy because of which the molecules are able to move rapidly in the container is called as translational kinetic energy clear with this so this is one form of microscopic this is one microscopic form of energy okay so we have understood one microscopic form of energy now let us understand the second microscopic form in form of energy so we all know that in a molecule in a polyatomic molecule what is polyatomic molecule in polyatomic molecule there are many atoms present so there is a chance that the atoms atoms of polyatomic molecule rotate about an axis so when the atoms rotate about an axis they are obviously having some kinetic energy because of which they are able to rotate so the energy associated with this rotation of atoms about an axis is called as rotational kinetic energy okay so this is the second microscopic form of energy okay so uh, rotational kinetic energy is nothing but the energy associated with the rotation of the atoms if the atoms are able to rotate which means that they are having energy and that energy is called as rotational kinetic energy clear now moving on with the third microscopic form of energy see in a polyatomic molecule what happens is that at high temperatures the atoms vibrate about their center of mass the atoms start to vibrate and guys if they are vibrating they are obviously having some energy therefore the energy associated with the vibration of atoms in a molecule is called as vibrational energy so if the atoms are vibrating then they are having the some energy and that energy is called as vibrational energy and this is our i think third microscopic form of energy and why they are called as why why i am saying microscopic form of energy microscopic form of energy because their quantity is small okay the quantity is small therefore we are referring it to as microscopic form of energy clear now uh the fourth microscopic form of energy so we all know that electrons spin about their own axis now if you, if they are able to spin about their own axis then obviously they are having some energy right so the energy associated with the spin of electrons is called as spin energy so this is our fourth microscopic form of energy moving on with the fifth microscopic form of energy if sufficient amount of energy is added to the molecules of liquid okay in liquid what happens the molecules are close to each other as compared to gas in liquid the molecules are close to each other but if you add sufficient amount of energy then what is going to happen the molecules will overcome the intermolecular forces and they will break away okay if the molecule if the molecules gain energy then they are going to move apart from each other and they are going to break away and hence as a result the substance turns into gas so as you can see over here there is a phase change that is been taking place in the substance the substance is changing from the liquid state to the gaseous state so as the energy the associated with the phase of the system is called as latent energy okay so the energy related to the phase of the system is called as latent energy i think this is our fifth microscopic form of energy moving on to the sixth microscopic form of energy an atom consists of neutrons and protons bounded together by nuclear forces we all know that in an atom the neutrons and protons they are bounded together by the nuclear forces inside the nucleus okay so there is some energy which is keeping them bounded right and the negatively charged electrons are also moving around it we also observe that the electrons are also moving around the nucleus okay so there is some energy which is keeping the electrons which is forcing the electrons to move around the nucleus and this not allowing the electrons to escape okay so this energy associated with the atomic bonds in a molecule is called as chemical energy okay so this is the sixth microscopic form of energy moving on to the seventh one 
during nuclear reactions the fusion reaction the fusion reaction the energy within the nucleus changes okay we all know that the uh, neutron is uh, pulled out of the nucleus is ejected out of the nucleus during the fusion reactions uh, and therefore the energy of the nucleus changes but guys the energy associated with the strong bonds within the nucleus are called as nuclear energy okay so the, there is some energy present within the nucleus which keeps the bond so strong that the nucleus is very strong able to uh, see in the nucleus guys the protons and uh, what is a neutrons are bonded together and we all know that the nucleus is having a very strong bond and it is having some nuclear energy which is very powerful um, and the energy associated with the strong bonds of the, the nucleus is called as nuclear energy okay now guys when you add all these microscopic forms of energy when you add translational kinetic energy rotational kinetic energy plus spin energy plus vibrational energy plus latent energy plus chemical energy plus nuclear energy you get what is known as internal energy so guys when in thermodynamics you cannot calculate all these small small microscopic forms of energy okay it will become difficult for you to calculate all these microscopic forms of energy therefore what we do is that this all microscopic forms of energy are clubbed together and given a single name called as internal energy clear with this now guys this uh, translational kinetic energy rotational kinetic energy spin energy plus vibrational kinetic energy is also called as sensible energy so all these four five terms i think one two three four four terms are clubbed together and given a single name as sensible energy just for your general knowledge okay so guys when you add all these microscopic forms of energy you get what is known as internal energy so in other words internal energy deals with only the molecules of the system it deals with the molecules of the system the energy associated with the molecules okay now after understanding what is internal energy now let us understand what is kinetic energy of the system clear with this now when we say kinetic energy of the system so again let us consider the same system where gas this complete gas is our system now when you refer to kinetic energy of the system guys you have to consider the complete system this complete gas okay you are not concerned with what is happening with the molecules you are only concerned with this complete amount of gas that is being present okay and if this complete the whole gas i am not talking about single molecule i am talking about the complete gas when this complete gas moves with some velocity then guys it is obviously having some kinetic energy and the energy that the system possesses as a result of its motion is obviously known as kinetic energy we all know so when you refer to kinetic energy of the system you have to consider the complete gas you cannot consider a single molecule you cannot you don't have to focus on molecules you don't have to bother what is happening in the molecules what is your system this complete gas is our system so if complete gas is a system then your complete gas must move with some velocity and if your complete gas is moving with some velocity then the energy that the system possesses as a result of its motion is called as kinetic energy if your complete system is moving then it is having some kinetic energy of the system this is called as kinetic energy of the system this of the system is very important over here guys okay we are not talking about the kinetic energy of the single molecules we are talking about the kinetic energy of the complete system the complete gas clear now let us understand with the third form of energy the third form of energy that is nothing but potential energy of the system so there is potential of energy of the system is nothing but suppose if uh, if you are having some cliff and on that cliff if there is a system okay this is your system this yellow color is your system now as you can see over here from the ground level this system is at some elevation let's say that the elevation is z and we all know that when any body is at some height then the uh, the because of the difference in height because if, if because it is at a greater height therefore there is the potential energy at the body possesses body possesses some uh, potential energy okay now guys i am not sure over here will this uh, line pass 
through this bottom of the system or it will pass through the center of uh, area i'm not sure about over this but yeah my job over here is to tell you all what is potential energy system when will when will the body system have potential energy when it is at some height okay when it is at some height the system is going to have some potential energy again here yeah, I am not talking about a single molecule. I am talking about a complete system. The complete system must be present at some height. And if the complete system is present at some height, then guys, we can say that the uh, system is having a potential energy. Okay. So guys, I hope that this video was helpful for you all. And guys, if you have liked this video, then please don't forget to subscribe to the channel and go check out my channel where I uploaded complete Thaloon Animix playlist and also some other chapters of chemistry and physics as well. They might be helpful for you all guys. And guys, you might be thinking that this is not in your syllabus, but I have to tell you all this because it is going to help you to understand the next video on the first law of thermodynamics. And guys, thank you for watching this video.